Good morning everybody, this is Lukey Boy, and today I'm going to be showing you guys step by step how to put lasers into your videos. So let's go ahead and kick this off with a demonstration. That was exciting, and now for the step-by-step -step tutorial to show you guys how to put lasers into your videos. And make sure you stick around to the end because I'm going to be showing some seldom seen footage from when I was just a little kid and my older brother was helping me make lightsabers and lasers and all that good stuff. Now for step number one, we need to have a laser bolt to use in our videos, and I draw these in a program called Inkscape. This is a free program, link in the description below if you want to go grab it and follow along with me. I'll open that up. And here we are. I don't like really bland laser bolts like this that they always have in Star Wars. I like a little texture in my laser bolts. Go ahead and grab the pen tool over here and I just draw a little squiggly line like that. Also right click down here and push edit stroke. Now we have this window over here and we can push that blurriness over a bit. Step number two, control C, control V. It will copy and paste. Control C is copy, control V is paste, if you didn't know that. And that works in any program. It's a little free pro advice there. We take our second line and we select the color we want our laser bolt to be. So we're gonna click on blue down there. We make this even blurrier and we'll stretch it out a bit. Voila, we have ourselves a laser bolt. Go to File, Export. Now we're gonna open up the video in PowerDirector, which is just my preferred video editing software. Go ahead and click up here and import that laser bolt. Drag it down to our timeline. Double click on it, which will open a new window, and we can do keyframes in this window. So we go to frame number one, we create a keyframe where the laser is here. Then we go about five frames in and set another keyframe. So the laser is over here, and the computer will automatically create the frames in between thus having the laser move throughout the frame. But it's just in front of everything. In order to have it come out of my finger gun here, we need to create a split screen right here in front of the barrel. If you don't know how to do that, make sure you check out my other video which explains split screens and layer masks. Stuff. Essentially what it is, is we're creating a split down the screen right here in front of the barrel so that this part of the video that I'm in is actually in front of that part of the video. And that way we can put our laser bolt back behind the video that I'm in and it comes out from behind it. So it'll look like it's coming out of my finger gun here. Boom. Like that. Boom, boom, boom. Great fun. And there you have it. That's the basics of putting lasers into your videos. At least that's the way I do it. I'm sure there's other ways to do it, but this seems to get the job done. So it is time to go back in time to the very start of my movie making adventures. So let's go ahead and jump onto my massive computer here and check some of those out. Okay, first up on our list is this video. Some of these don't have sound, so I'm just going to be kind of narrating over it. That's me on the right with the magnificent umbrella hat shooting down the X-Wing. My awesome big brother Isaac on the left. And I think we're making these in Blender. This video I think may have actually come before the last video we just watched. That's my cousin Steven there. I'm the one with the red like wig thing going on there. Um, older cousin Tim comes in from the left, and we just completely annihilate him. This video, I was spent so much time on this video, I literally took it and turned it into frame by frame. So every single frame of this video is a single picture. And then I opened each one of those in paint, like Windows Paint, and hand drew in every one of those lasers, and the whole, like, force field looks really bad, and most of this makes me cringe. Huge jump forward in time, I'm suddenly a teenager. Mm -hmm. And... <laughs> Still making lightsaber movies. I think this is another force field, yep. Force fields have definitely got better since I was drawing them in paint. This last one is super stupid and hilarious. And it's with my cousin Jesse and a good friend Zeb from Bible College. And it has music and sound effects and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just gonna be quiet now and let you guys enjoy this one. Looks 
like your deep fry. I don't know. It was in the script. Well, who'd write the script anyway? 